Hello again and welcome to another tutorial. This is Christina from Pixie Drops Digital Backdrops and today we're going to be compositing using this lovely cream moon. Um, cream tones are super super timeless and um, they're used in many 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 newborn sessions and so even if you haven't planned for this particular backdrop the chances are um, you may have used a cream layer and uh, a cream uh, backdrop anyways. Um, it's always your best bet to plan ahead, but if you hadn't, I'd be willing to bet that uh, you do have uh, cream layers somewhere in your studio um, and in some of your studio images. Um, I planned in particular for this backdrop when I shot this subject I knew I was going to create a tutorial so I wanted to make it as easy as possible um, I used the same layers that I used when I created this backdrop these curls layers come from Christine's creations and I will actually just leave a link to that in the description down below if you feel like you'd like to purchase those I use them all the time um, so let's just get started. The first thing that I notice here is the direction of light. I have shot this to have a uh, baby's face lit on this side, as you can see, because the shadows are falling over here. Um, and she was photographed in the other direction. So I'm just going to flip this image over. Or you could flip the backdrop over. It's entirely up to you. Make a quick selection here making sure to get all those little cream curls and then if you're wondering why I have the brown layer here um, I'd actually actually shot her on the brown first uh, knowing I was going to use that for another um, composite tutorial and then she was just sleeping so soundly I tucked in these curls layers uh, for a bit of a two for one there okay so control C control V to make a new layer and pull her over into the backdrop. Control T to resize and hold the shift key to maintain the ratios as you are sizing. And that looks like about the right size and position. I might just rotate her a little bit. Pull her up tiny bit using my arrow key. Okay, now layer mask. I'm going to zoom in here. And I'm I've got the brush at about 70 or 80% and I'm just going to brush away. And this will give a nice seamless blend with curls that are already part of the backdrop. And I took away a little bit too much there, so I'm going to flip around and add some back. And bring down the opacity on the and the flow on my brush and get a smaller brush. And just gradually work my way in here to get a nice soft blend. I do wish I had a few more curls around her arm here, but we can make it work. again to making backdrop or sorry digital composites believable is to have some texturing natural shadowing etc like you would in real life pull 
planning ahead will absolutely make your life easier. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to turn this brush up a little bit. Increase. So as you can see, I have used a nearly identical tone to the backdrop. So when I go to blend around the back of her, it's almost identical. And I won't even need to tuck right into the subject because it's so very close. come up to 100% with a tiny brush here just to come around her hair. Make sure we've got that. And there you have it. In very, very short order, we have a lovely looking composite. That is all for today, and I'll see you in the next one.